Most people think that change can only be accomplished with big actions and strong words. They believe that they must raise their voices and show their anger to the world. But is there another way? What about art? Can art help change things? Can it change the way people think? Many people believe that art is an important tool in fixing the wrongs of the world. One such person was a man named Lewis Hine. He was a photographer who was born in 1874. He worked as a teacher in New York City. Lewis often brought his students to Ellis Island, where they took photographs of immigrants arriving from all over the world. He realized that photography could be a useful tool in bringing on change. Photography allowed people to get a glimpse of the lives and troubles of real people. In 1908, Lewis quit his teaching job to dedicate himself to photography and helping others. One group in particular needed his help. Children all over the United States were hard at work in factories and mines. Poor families could not make ends meet with their low paying jobs. Their children had to go to work too. Factory owners liked to hire children because they could pay them less money than an adult. Working in a factory was not easy. Children worked up to 18 hours a day. They did not get to go to school or play. They were not allowed to talk in the factory. Factories were dark and dirty. They were also dangerous. Many children got hurt or became sick because they had to work in such poor conditions. People began to realize how terrible it was for children to work like this. They knew that children should be able to go to school and have time to play. Many tried to stop child labor, but factory owners fought back, not willing to lose their workers. Lewis Hine began to work with the National Child Labor Committee, a group working to end child labor. He took his camera on the road, photographing children at work all over the country. Lewis knew that people would be more willing to help these children if they could only see what was really happening to them. His photos show the sad lives of kids at work. Lewis's photographs shocked and angered people. The government knew they needed to help these children. Many laws were proposed and struck down, but Lewis and others did not stop fighting. By 1938, a law was passed saying that child labor was no longer allowed. Children would now be able to go to school and have a real childhood. The most strong words and actions were useful in this fight. It was art that made the difference. Art put a face to the struggle. Art showed the world what life was like for child workers. Art can truly change the world.